What's going on everyone, it's DB, and I have some really great news for many of you who have been waiting for a long time now, and that is the next season of the Bed Wars Clan Tournament. This is the second season. The last season we had over 800 clans sign up, and I had to choose out of that 128 clans. Initially, it was supposed to only be a 32 clan tournament, but there were so many of you like signed up like the first 24 hours that I didn't I didn't expect that kind of overwhelming response. That was insane. So I had to make it bigger. And so we had over 512 players across the globe competing for the title of best clan and $1,400 in cash prizes. Now in season two coming up here, we are going to have 128 clans again and more than 512 players competing for $1,500 in Robux gift cards in a 4v4 tournament. That's a lot of Robux. Think about the conversion of that. $1,500 is a pretty good amount. And uh, we're also gonna be skipping the qualifiers this time. So in our last tournament, we had four clans facing each other in a single elimination round as a qualifier. This time it's a little different. This time we're gonna be super simple. We're gonna keep it all the same. They're all gonna be the same format. It'll be clans facing each other on a 30 v 30 map. So there's two bases and clans will need to win best two out of three matches. So if you win the first two, you're good, you move on. Now we did learn a lot from our first tournament. The first tournament, we had a lot of challenges and it was trying to get through so many clan matches in a handful of days. If you were a part of this tournament, I'm sorry. I know it was insane. We had to you know, try to host as many as we could at once. And on top of that, we also had semifinals in one day. It was crazy, it was crazy. So we had a lot of learnings and we also had a lot of players who couldn't show up due to their time zones. This time we're doing things a lot differently. We're gonna be doing open signups again and the tournament will take place over three weeks this time. That's a lot longer. Gives us a whole lot of time to be able to make sure we can get through all these matches properly. The other problem is like I said, no shows. So this time we're gonna allow players to schedule their matches between their opponents within a specific time frame. So they'll only have like basically a day to schedule that. And um, just in case there's any kind of dispute or anything like that, we're going to assign a date for you all to play against each other if you have issues coordinating. We're also going to try our best to group players with the same region. So if someone's, for example, from you know South America, you're going to be paired up with others in your same region and to help with lag. The rules are very simple as well. It's a 4v4 tournament. There's no kits allowed, so keeping it very free to play. There's no enchantments allowed because you know how crazy enchantments are. They're very overpowered and can also be abused heavily. So no enchantments, no auto clicking or anything that resembles it, meaning no drag clicking, scroll clicking, butterfly clicking, Clicking, jitter clicking, track clicking, whatever you want to call it. You can head face palm clicking, whatever you're doing to make it look like it's an auto clicker, you're not allowed, especially bridging. And of course, I should go without saying that there's no cheats or hacking allowed, no crazy exploits. Now, harmless stuff like glitching to get eight balloons is totally fine, but not, not no stuff like no clipping through walls or ghost blocking, things like that. We're also not going to do anything crazy with the timers. Basically, it's going to be the standard bed break time. There's going to be no turning off of generators this time. So you're pretty much just like any other round. You're going to have as much time as you need to finish your match. Now, unlike the UCA, we are going to allow snowballs. So that's to help you with those pesky ballooners. If people keep ballooning and if the match needs to end up inside the void, then so be it. Now, if players do lose connection during the game, the game needs to go on and we're also gonna make it so that if someone doesn't show up, like a team doesn't show up to their match within 15 minutes of that scheduled match time, they're gonna have to call it. Unless both clans can find a good time to reschedule, it's pretty much forfeit. To also ensure matches are fair and there's no hacking or anything like that, any conflicts, I'm gonna be recommending that clans at least have one to two players in the clan recording the match. And just post those to an unlisted link on YouTube. It's pretty much free. Now, if someone is claiming someone is hacking or exploiting or breaking rules, the burden of proof is going to be on the clan accusing the other person. That also means you kind of need to be recording your own stuff in your defense. So if there's something that looks real sus, you might want to have some proof on your end to counter that. And again, just sending YouTube links is a great way to do that. Um, if you can't record, then you're just taking the risk. It's not required, but it's, it's recommended. Players can substitute also. So clan substitution is completely allowed. So you can substitute players in between matches as needed throughout the duration of the tournament. However, you cannot double participate in more than one clan and every single player on that roster needs to have the clan tag in their username that they're representing. We don't wanna have stuff where it's like ABX clan is joining Sentinel's clan and 
vice versa, right? So there should be clan tags in everyone's usernames to show that you're in a clan. Now, we also had some players that used alts to get additional chances at wins in the tournament, which I warned them last time, but this time we're gonna strictly enforce it and finding out someone is using an alt will disqualify that clan from the tournament. So make sure you're not using alts. The last tournament also had a sportsmanship rule, which basically means no toxicity towards each other. As with any competition, it can create a lot of emotions, right? Heavy emotions for the player, whether it be from anger, from losing or excitement over winning. It's super important that as a community, we be respectful to each other. And I'm super grateful that all of you were super cool. We didn't have that many issues last tournament. Most of you were really, really great. So, you know, only we only had a couple of clans that were toxic and leaders were able to keep their members in line. So appreciate that. Any players found raiding or creating negativity or drama will be exited from the tournament and may also result in a disqualification of the clan if the clan leaders cannot control their players. As far as prizes go, I know you were like, DB, what about the prizes? What about the prizes? The winning clan will receive $1,000 in Rolex gift cards. Second place is gonna receive $500 gift cards. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distribute those gift cards to the clan leader to give to the respective members. So it's really up to them how they wanna spread it out. And also top 10 clans will receive a special role on my Discord. Now, since there are 128 clans, I won't be able to record all matches, but I plan on recording the semifinals and the finals for videos. So yeah, I will be recording those for content. Finally, Finally, I know you're like, DB, okay, I get all the rules. How do I sign up? I'm like ready to go. Here's how you can sign up. So we do require clan leaders interested in signing up their clan to go to my Discord server and go to the BWCT signups channel and follow signup instructions there. Signups will close on February 5th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard. The selected clans and bracket will be posted the following Monday and matches will begin on February 8th. So it's coming up pretty quick. Not much time. There's a little bit more than a week to be able to get everything going. It's coming up quick, so make sure you don't wait and last time like i said within the first like half i think it was like within the first couple of hours we had hundreds of signups so make sure you get in fast now also i know some of you can't use discord if you have a, maybe a clan leader or a delegate in your clan that can join the discord have them do it that's fine or and they can potentially give you the steps on how to sign up but make sure you get on there um the main reason is for not only for prize distribution and to make sure we can clearly communicate you need to be able to post match results you need to be able to coordinate with other clans and you're going to do that through this server so it's it's absolutely required that you be on that Discord. The other thing I just want to make sure it's clear, make sure your clan leader is the one that's signing you up because last time we had an issue where some members were signing up and we had duplicate signups. So just make sure that, you know, that it's your leader signing you up. By the way, there's no guarantee your clan will be entered. You know, there's no guarantee because we do have a limitation. It's 128 clans. We're also going to be reserving some spots for clans that actually participated last season and for creator clans as well as some of the top UCA clans. So we will do our best to review all signups received. I just, I want to let you know, don't be disappointed if your clan doesn't make it it might it might but don't be disappointed so i'm super excited to see all the skilled players back again for the next season and who will take the crown for best clan don't forget to like subscribe and turn on notifications so you can get notified of the tournament updates and of course any bedwars videos that i post until next time good luck and have fun peace